Hey, what's up friends? Sean from Draft Therapy here and on today's review for you, got a whole lot of tweeds up in here. Guava Boss Tweed is a 9.3% double IPA from Old Nation Brewing Company in Williamston, Michigan. Okay, so maybe I wasn't running around all day, but I've been running around to a few stores trying to find this after talking to Travis yesterday. Uh, I even have the nice indentation on the beard from the mask. Shout out to my long bearded brethren out there. Feel my pain. So I was able to find Guava Boss Tweed at a store out in South Lyon, picked it up, and I've been really excited to try it and bring it to you guys today. So without any further ado, without any further kind of, you know, gesticulating wildly with my hands, let's just get into it and I'll tell you all about it. So... On the front of the label here, it has, it looks like Boss Tweed normally does. It has the O-N on the top for Old Nation. It says New Orthodox India Pale Ale Series, Boss Tweed Double India Pale Ale. And on the side, it signifies that it's guava to let you know this is the different variety. It's 9.3% alcohol by volume, IBU 68, one pint. Uh, the malt is Pills Wheat, Oat, and Vienna. The boil hops are Magnum, Simcoe, Citra, Mosaic. And the dry hop is Simcoe, Citra, Mosaic, and Azaka. Uh, keep cold and drink fresh. Haze is good. And then if we look on the side, it has the Old Nation Brewing Company logo. It says oldnationbrewing.com. Proudly brewed and bottled in Williamston, Michigan. Drink responsibly. And then on the side, it has the label here. It says don't freak out sediment and what you can do about it. And they tell you, you know, put it on the side, roll the can. This, I'm going to look at the canned on date. I don't think it's, I don't need to roll this around. I feel like it's going to blow up my face. This was packaged on 1022 Old Nation Brewing Company. Uh, 1022 would have been about a week and a few days. Today is literally November 3rd, election day. This is the day that it came out here. I picked it up, like I said, in South Lyon. I think it'll probably make its way over to Wayne County and Oakland County, probably within the next day or so. I think we usually kind of fall about a day behind. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and crack this open, get it into glass. I'm going to use my, uh, my Mandalorian, the child glass here with a little Sith. Sith uh, Baby Yoda and a Baby Yoda. Let's go ahead and crack this and put a nose on it. I smell a lot of guava. That's the number one thing. And the other thing is that, you know, Travis mentioned it probably won't be as hazy, so I'm expecting it not to be very hazy at all, but we'll, we'll see it right here. So let's take a look. And it's surprisingly pretty clear. I mean, like you said, it was going to be pretty clear, but it is very clear. It's not, there's not a lot of haze to it. Um, that's not a big deal to me. I kind of poured it a little gingerly here for whatever reason, but yeah, I mean, that's not really that important to me, but pouring it, I can, I can smell the guava. I can smell big time guava just on the pour. I don't even have to kind of get my nose in there. I can smell, let's hold it up to the light real quick and show you there is some haze in here. There's a little bit of sediment floating there, uh, but it is not like what you would expect from a boss tweed. It's not super thick, not really heavy looking, not really, you know, super hazy but it is pretty hazy and i can see my fingers through it i can i can't see detail i can see like a shadow through it so it's a little bit on the lighter you know on the thinner side but it's it's still pretty hazy i was expecting it to be really super thin so let's put a nose on it here and yeah like i said you get a big whiff a big punch of guava uh they used puree guava puree in this rather than using uh in tart strawberry m43 they use a a syrup or they use an extract this is not that it is the pure thing so let's just let's just get into it cheers wow that is a lot of guava uh it's got a nice kind of bitter bite to it i wasn't i was expecting it maybe to be maybe a little thicker i'm sorry you know looking at it visual i expected it to be maybe a little less hazy I expected the flavor to be a lot, like, really sweet, but it's a good balance. There's a sweetness, there's that guava sweetness in there, but there's also a bit more of a bitterness than, than I think that you get in Boss Tweed. I think Boss Tweed does have that bitter note, like, after the swallow, but I feel like this one, the bitterness is a little bit stronger. The mouth feels still really nice and light. The first drink that you get is that really nice sweet flavor, that really nice sweet guava flavor. But then after that, the swallow, that bitterness really starts to pick up, really starts to kick in. There's a bit of a, 
a citrus, you know, zesty kind of bitterness, but there's also a bit of like a, almost like a sharp piney kind of bitterness in there as well. And the, the, it's after the swallow, it's not as, um, it's not kind of as sweet or as, you know, it doesn't hang on. The sweetness doesn't hang on as much as you get from a regular boss tweed. It's like a whole different thing. It's, it's very, uh, it's got a lot more of that kind of sharp pointed kind of bitterness to it. I feel like on that first drink, it was really uh, very evident that the sweetness was up at the front. And then I think even now, this is like the third drink I've tasted and the, you know, a longer kind of pull of it. And I'm getting, um, I'm getting a little bit more of the sweetness, but that, that piercing, really um, strong, sharp kind of bitterness to it is where I'm kind of, it's kind of putting a little bit of a disconnect for me. It's, it feels reminiscent of Boss Tweed, but I think the guava does something to it that kind of pulls, you know, that, that citrus, obviously a citrus sweetness, uh, more of a citrus sweetness flavor, maybe even like a malty kind of flavor in Boss Tweed that you don't get in this. And it's almost like the, the mouth feels a little bit lighter. It's not as kind of pillowy and, and you know, light as, um, as Boss Tweed is, or it doesn't have that same kind of element to it. This is a little bit of a thinner mouthfeel, but it's still, I mean, it's still rather soft, but it's just not the same softness, the same kind of porous, um, kind of airy feeling that Boss Tweed has. Man, I don't know. It's got, like I said, that just that bitterness kind of pulls in over what you would normally get out of a Boss Tweed. So it's just a little bit different. I don't know if I'm like over the moon about this. I think uh, I really commend I really commend Old Nation for using guava, using the actual, um, you know, using the puree from the fruit. I think when they do tart strawberry M43, that that extract adds a little bit more sweetness that you probably wouldn't get. Out. It it has that kind of artificial strawberry flavor. At least that's the way I kind of pick it up. It's like a waxy kind of flavor. This tastes like natural guava. It doesn't taste like an extract. It tastes like they use the pure fruit. But I wonder if that, that guava just added that note of bitterness that you just don't normally get out of Boss Tweed or maybe something in the guava kind of, you know, changed, changed the way that Boss Tweed just is on its own. Um, I would say that this is not so much like, if you're a huge Boss Tweed fan, I think it's definitely worth a try. I also feel like if you're a New England or a double, a New England double IPA style fan, or double New England style IPA, whatever you want to call it, I think if you're a fan of that style, um, this isn't going to be, it's going to be a bit of a shock to you. It's not going to taste so much like a New England style IPA, at least not in my opinion. I feel like it's, it's more of a, more of like an IPA, you get more of that IPA bitterness. So maybe IPA fans that have shied away from Boss Tweed in the past might want to, you know, approach this one and say, oh, okay, you know, it's kind of like for me, I'm thinking as I'm tasting and I'm thinking about it more. It's kind of like you try B43, you know, you try M43 first and it's got that, you know, that heavy, not heavy, but that pillowy mouthfeel. It's got that really orange sweetness. It's like orange juice, right? It's like orange juice a beer style orange juice almost and then you get b43 and it has some of those same kind of elements but the bitterness is a little bit ramped up the dryness is kind of ramped up well it's a lot ramped up i feel like this is almost an it's like you know comparing m43 to b43 i feel like boss tweed comparing to guava boss tweed you get that sweetness from the guava but you lose all those other characteristics out of boss tweed and you pick up a little bit more of that dryness a little bit more of that sharp bitterness so it's almost like if you really loved M43 and you tried B43 thinking it's going to be the exact same thing, just drier, you're going to be disappointed. And I think if you go into this thinking that this is Boss Tweed and then there's Guava Boss Tweed and you tried them side by side, you would be disappointed that it's not exactly like Boss Tweed, but just with some guava thrown in there. I think the guava elements are in there, but I think the, the other changes that the guava makes to the beer changes the beer almost to the point where you know, it's like you're taking the sweetness, the orange sweetness out of Boss Tweed and you're replacing it with guava rather than, um, you know, and all the all the elements that go with guava and that bitterness rather than saying you have that orangey Boss Tweed flavor and you're throwing guava in on top of it. So I think that you have to kind of go into it thinking that. I think, unfortunately, a lot of people won't do that and they'll think I'm going to get Boss Tweed and I'm going to get guava thrown on top of it where I feel me personally, I just feel like it's 
like you're getting all the elements of boss tweed, but you're losing the orange and the, the citrus kind of sweetness and you're getting guava instead. And the guava sweetness is in there, but it also introduces that element of guava bitterness. So that's, that's kind of where I'm at right now with this beer. About half a glass in. I appreciate it for what the difference is it, it is, but it's, I think it's like comparing M43 to B43. You have boss tweed and guava boss tweed. All right, friends, that has been Guava Boss Tweed from Old Nation Brewing Company. Have you had this yet? Have you been able to find it? Have you been looking and not been able to find it? If you've been able to try it, do you think that it's kind of like how I'm talking about it, or do you have a totally different take on it? Let us know in the comments down below while you're down there. If you like beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell, because I'm here talking about beer twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's all for free for viewers just like you, and you might miss your newest favorite if you're not subscribed and getting those notifications. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries, and most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, we got a whole lot of tweed up in here.